a very welcome to 20th of May's Golly Blessing. Now, how do you make somebody feel something? It's like giving a glimpse of something which is coming new. You can give a glimpse of something coming new either through your thoughts, through your words, through your actions. And the best method is through your thoughts. But it's a very powerful method. For being so powerful, one needs to have very clean and clear thoughts, no doubts, no question marks, and no exclamation marks. So God here says that you can also give this glimpse of the newest world or the new world which I'm creating. Let's see how. Supreme Father says, may you be an elevated soul who gives a glimpse of the new world with your newest and highest thoughts. Now, the, what are the old thoughts? The worldly thoughts which we have today, in which people are getting greedier and greedier, jealous, hatred is increasing, inter-caste hatred, inter-religious hatred, inter-continental hatred, so many things are increasing and that's the old methods. What's the new method then? Obviously the opposite of that. So God says, everyone speaks of the new day and the new night. New day and the new night. It's not that another day is coming, so new day is a new night. It's about the new world which is going to come. But you elevated souls have to let your every second and every thought be the newest, highest and best of all. It has to be an improved version. For the new world to come, the thoughts have to be new. The thoughts have to be more refined. The thoughts have to be more purified. That's what we do, right? In refinery, refineries, whether it's sugar, whether it's oil, whether it's any other refinery, we try to refine things. We are trying to refine technology. We are trying to refine our vegetation. We are trying to refine the seed production. Everything we are trying to refine, everything. Even in food, whether it's clothing, everything. So why not our thoughts? That's what God says. Then the sound of a glimpse of the new world being seen will spread everywhere and everyone will become occupied in making preparations for the new world. So when you have new thoughts, new ways of methods of thinking and talking, automatically the new world will be seen. People will see, oh, something is different over here. This method is not the old method. No greed, no jealousy, no hatred is being used over here, but this work is being done in a very refined manner. Then God says, just as at the beginning of this establishment, when Brahma Kumari started in 1936, there was the divine activity of dreams and visions. God used to give dreams and visions of the new world, heaven on earth, being created by him. And he used to show through visions that how it's going to be because souls were not at all ready in Kalyuk to understand what exactly was he here for. What did God come here for? What is his meaning to come here for? In the same way, at the end, that same divine activity will be instrumental in bringing about real revelation. So what is the revelation? We have been listening about revelation in Christianity. It's that the revelation is that the new world is being created. Be ready, be prepared. But are you ready for it? If you are not, then it is a must, an important act from your side to come over to Brahma Kumaris and learn about how the new world is being created. It's being created on a daily basis and every soul involved, millions of souls involved are changing their thoughts, changing their words, changing their actions to create a new world. Don't try to do this.